Vanessa. Yes, that's right, it is. Uh, you had an uh, unusual approach, I read in, in, in the, the bio. Can you tell us about it? Uh, to to making to make uh, making record, the album yeah, yeah. um so so this album was recorded in our home we create we converted our house to be a full studio and then Jason and I uh pitched a tent in our backyard and camped in the backyard and then um so while our house was a studio and then we also um we I, to to make the money for the album to raise the money I painted the front cover and There's a speed time lapse video online of of me painting the album cover uh, that people can watch, and it goes from start to finish. And then I took it apart and sold all the little paintings to help fund the record. Uh huh. Take it, it took it a, a, a long time that you had the funds that you needed for making this record. Yeah, it took a few months of of fundraising, yeah. and of course, we still didn't raise all the money to to create the album. But we we did, you know, create a lot of support for it for sure, and it helped. Yeah. Um, make this album come to life. So we're and we've, it's been wonderful. We've been very excited with the results and and excited that we can come over to Europe and share the music here as well. Is this uh, the first time you've been here in, in Europe? It's uh, this is the first time that I've been to the mainland Europe uh, for music. Okay. So I've been here a, a few times, but just to travel around. Uh -huh. So it's my first time playing music here. Yeah. yeah. And how did you get started? Okay, how did you get involved with music? When when did you know and how did you know that was the thing that you wanted to be and to do? Well, I, I started as a fine artist um, as a young girl. And then I was always very, very in love with music and in love with the act of singing. Um, and so I joined a, a band at a young age as a funk singer, backup singer, And also did some uh, was a Greek singer. I was a singer in a Greek band as well. Um, but it wasn't until a few years later, in about 2004, that I started to really feel the need and the desire to write my own songs and and sing, make my own music. And so I've been doing it ever since then, uh, which has been, I guess, about seven years or so. Yeah, and you seven, all years. all those years you've been together. Yes, uh, Jason and I have been married for 11 years uh -huh. and together for 12 and a half, 13 years. Um, and we've been making music in one form or the other together for that entire time. Uh -huh. So so it's just somewhere in the middle of it. I started writing songs and then uh, Jason and I would work out accompaniment. And um, he, he and I lived in South America for a couple of years. And when we were there, we picked up this instrument that he's playing, which is called a charango. Uh-huh. Uh, we picked up the instrument in Bolivia, and so that's that's also colored the flavor of my music a little bit. Um, I also write in Spanish, um, so so we've got some some of the world music, Latin music. It, that's the reason that you that you also sing in Spanish. Uh, yeah, that's I, I just feel sometimes like writing, and there's some some things that I want to express, and it just comes out more in Spanish. Yeah. And not not in English all the time. So I, I just do a, a little bit of songwriting in Spanish. Is that by as well. yourself? Yes, uh, I've written all the songs myself. Um, Jason and I did one co-write together. It's in Spanish and it's on the new record as well. It's called uh -huh. "Baile Conmigo," which means "Dance with Me." Um, but apart from that, I've I've done um, all the songs that have gone onto my album are my own songs. And then I also do quite a bit of co-writing with artists from Denmark. Um, There's a program that we have in Austin called the House of Songs, and it's an exchange program of sorts where where uh, songwriters from Denmark and it's opening up to more more artists. So I've also written with someone from um, Norway, I believe, and uh, and so yeah, there's there's a lot of co-writing that happens as well, and and maybe one day I'll have a record that that is all the co-writes that I've done yeah. or select <laughs> select songs, yeah. And Jason uh, always uh, produced. Uh, the, your yeah, we always record. work together yeah. for the production, you're mixing, and recording of, of the albums. You will never have a quarrel together. <laughs> Do we never have a quarrel together? <laughs> I'm, well, I mean, uh, about the artistic. About music, but, uh, yeah. Certainly, uh, uh, other than music, yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes, we are a normal married couple that has has the the normal arguments and stuff um but we actually we work really well as a team it's it's pretty amazing how how well we do as a team uh which is why we're able to tour together and and work on these really intense projects like making music and recording it and also we have a 
we we also do graphic and web design as well and we do that together so so we do a lot of working together and i think it's it's been it's been you know over t- a decade of of doing that and it's felt really really positive to be able to have a, a teammate on everything. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. said you're a normal couple, but I think not every couple has built up a tent in the backyard. No, and you're right. <laughs> rebuild the you're house. You're right. We're a not studio. a normal couple <laughs> in many, but many it, respects. It delivers us, uh, in any case, uh, very uh, fine, good yeah. music. And we can't wait till the next song. It is the fourth <laughs> well, album that you uh, released, uh, Vanessa. If I Yes, that is right. <laughs> <laughs> Am I disturbing you? You have no, something no. in my mouth. <laughs> You're not disturbing. I just was holding the pick in my mouth. <laughs> Forgot I was supposed oh. to actually say something there. <laughs> yeah, uh, you don't have to say that uh, a lot in Holland. You could bring people on very, very naughty thoughts. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, but. So, okay. yes. I will change the subject. <laughs> yes, I'm not quite sure what you're talking about. I'm sure it's. Um, or it is your fourth album. Uh, the third album was uh, completely in Spanish That's language. It was, I think, a, a special tribute. CD that you do to a tribute to uh, Mercedes Sosa. Yes, that is correct. And uh, so it, it it was a tribute to her life. It, I recorded it right after she passed away in October of 2009. Um, that's when I decided to do the record. And so what I did is I researched some of the most popular songs that she covered that were some of my favorites and found out they were all part of a movement, a song movement called La Nueva Canción. So then the album ended up being both a tribute to her life, but also a tribute to that movement that she was so passionate about. And it was a, just a social song movement um, that was really at the core trying to bring people together and and form a stronger community uh, because they were experiencing a lot of uh, government oppression during that time. Uh So it was a, a very beautiful movement and song. And, and for me, music is not only just about making nice songs, but it's also about uh, inspiring people and bringing people together. And so there are a lot of different layers to the music that that's what brings me personally to writing my own music. Ah, so that is what you want to achieve yes. with making your music. Right, yeah. Th- that CD, was that, uh, did you write uh, new songs about... Uh, Mercedes Sosa, or did you also cover some songs of her? Oh, all of the songs on that on that album are tradition. Are they old songs that are from this movement? So I didn't write any of the songs; they're all covers. Just so that's a complete um, album of of songs that are, they're just my way of of delivering them. So it's a different delivery, not the traditional sound sounding songs. Um, a lot of them come from the Andean Andean. Uh, music style so so the one the way that we sing it and the way that that we put the the songs together definitely have more of a sound that's closer to my own music sound so it's my my take on those songs you had a good critical acclaim on that on that one yes it was it was really being people i think people were were also a little bit shocked to see an album that was that was paying such close attention to a specific movement and paying tribute to mercedes sosa and so it was picked up by a lot of the f- fans of that movement and those songs. Uh-huh. And so it was played and, and loved, and I was getting a lot of wonderful feedback from, from uh, the DJs and listeners on that album. Okay. But it's for a specific, you know, we didn't send it out all over to folk radio stations or anything. It went specifically to just uh, Spanish radio, uh-huh. mainly. So uh-huh. it's a much smaller That's market right. yeah. that that yeah. went out to. Okay. Um, you've been touring quite yes. a few years together. Yes. Can you tell us one of the highlights that you had <laughs> last night during your <laughs> um, rich <laughs> on this uh, right now? <laughs> right now, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is it's the entire. Are you speaking for this tour right now? You mean no, the tour generally that you, you you've been touring quite several years. Yes. So well, one of the surprising things that that we uh, felt like a community we stumbled on. Uh, was actually in Kansas uh, or Topeka, Kansas. Is is this town? It's really kind of just in the middle of of not much in in the United States. And um, we we went there just semi randomly uh, to play on one tour and just had such a warm response from the people there that we booked a sh- uh, we came back the following year to a wonderfully large audience of people that were really excited about the music and. 
that always feels really wonderful on the road when you find these places that that your music is you know i feel like our music is always really well received but it was it was a a much larger group of people that were responding all at once that had never heard heard the music before but just all seemed to love it and they were sharing it and i was getting emails the entire year between our appearance and then the next show and like we can't wait for you to come back and this and that and so that was just really neat to see to feel such a pull uh, Mm -hmm. from a community um and that i would say that was one of my highlights jason do you have a a highlight that sums it up pretty nicely that was great yeah that was probably one of our both of our favorite uh Mm -hmm. experiences and then of course being able to travel in europe has been amazing because we already love to travel around and and visit new places and had wanted to come back here for many years now, um, but just never, it never really got, got on there. It's, it's a bit, you know, it's a bit expensive to travel over and everything. And, and so that just kept getting in the way of us coming here. So it was nice that we were finally able to make it happen. And I'm already starting to look forward to, to trying to make another tour happen in a year from now. So this is, I I feel like just the people that you meet on the road and the, the warmth that you get everywhere you go is, is such a wonderful a wonderful thing, yeah. Uh, right. Keeps you going through and, uh, through all of it. Through the, it the must keep you also the feeling. I I think that uh, if people uh, uh, react on that way, that as, as you told us right now, uh, that must have gives you feeling that you are musically on the right path. Yes, so you, exactly. You it's st- always reassuring. You stick with that. Yeah, okay. and it's it's encouraged. It it feels like it gives me the energy and the encouragement I need to continue just making more songs and and traveling and everything because it is a it's a really fun life and i always feel grateful every day that i'm able to do it but it also is a very self-driven you have to continue to push yourself to to stay active and stay out there mm-hmm. um and there so it's a it's a hard working life as well okay yeah 